Hello beautiful people, welcome to Juliet Kitchen, Yasmin here. Today you're in for a treat. I'm sharing with you my holiday garlic stuffed rib roast. I make this every holiday season at least uh, twice. Absolutely delicious, very easy to make. So stick around and you'll see how I make this dish. Okay, to get started with this recipe, I have the oven being preheated at 450 degrees. I am going to be reducing the oven to 325 as soon as I put the rib roast in the oven. I'm using a four pound uh, boneless ribeye roast. You could certainly use uh, the bone in. And I'm making a simple paste uh, to seasoning it with. I'm using uh, garlic that I've cut in half uh, to stuff it with. So I'm leaving the extra fat one it's not much of it at all and then I've cut these uh, I would say about a half inch to an inch this is more of an inch uh, uh, slit all over the sides and I'm going to be stuffing this with garlic here 12 garlics uh, that uh, uh, garlic clove that I've sliced in two and then I'm just going to stuff the garlic in here you want the hole deep enough so that the garlic sits in it. Okay, so the rib is all stuffed. I'm using a uh, sheet pan, half sheet pan lined with parchment uh, paper. Okay, so for the paste, I'm using one and a half tablespoons of crushed garlic one tablespoon of uh, fresh rosemary finely uh, chopped, one and a half uh, teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper, and two teaspoons of sea salt. One uh, tablespoon of olive oil, enough to make a nice uh, paste. And then you just wanna rub this all over. It's going to be amazing. So this is just about ready. I am going to wash my hands and get this in the oven. Okay, so into the oven this goes. Okay, so the rib roast is in the oven. I've turned the heat down to 325 degrees and I'm going to cook that for probably about an hour and a half to two hours. Cook time is going to depend on how you like your meat cooked. Uh, we particularly like our meat cooked at least at 145 uh, degrees in uh, temperature. Um, so the cook time will vary depending on how you like your uh, meat. Wow, look at how beautiful this is. I'm going to tempt this loosely with a foil and allow it to sit 15-20 minutes before I slice it. my favorite moment of cooking. Wow, the flavor, super delicious, very tender, juicy. I do hope that you'll take some time to make this recipe and enjoy it as much as we do around here. Until next time, happy cooking.